Hey guys, this is Helium Lemon 15. Welcome back to TikTok Isle. This is the last part of TikTok Isle, and this is officially my 800th video on Helium Lemon, which is pretty cool. Drink coffee, yes. Into the kitchen, I blearily lumber. Blurry vision veiled by slumber. Open window, ocean breathes. Morning light, reverie recedes. Silverware shimmers, glasses glisten. I'm overjoyed by pristine vision. Was this deed husband's doing? Hark, a sound, coffee brewing. Angelic aroma, seraphic and scent. Heavenly flavor, liquid wonder mint. Caressing cup, I serenely savor. Lively imbibing, companion's favor. Helpful husband, supportive spouse. Cheerful children, happy house. Aw, that's nice. So you drink coffee with her, and she was like, Yay, my husband's so great. Okay, so finally time to uh, do something with that sap that we got earlier. And uh, it changed into syrup, hopefully. Maple syrup, sweet syrup for pancakes, blah, blah, blah. Now we have to give the syrup to them. Um, in the past, I guess. I, I don't remember which time we're in. There's only two times, so it's not that bad. It, it's like, it takes me back to Time Spinner when we we're like, oh, we're in the past, oh, we're in the present, blah, blah, blah. It's almost like, I don't know. It's almost like Ocarina of Time where you have to keep, keep switching between times or... It's not the only game that does that, of course. Okay, so now we're in the past. Now do I give you your maple syrup? Maple syrup from Vermont. Maple syrup ice cream. Maple syrup flavored donuts. I don't know. Found this trumpet for you. Why is it filled with dirt? Because I'm not familiar with trumpet cleaning procedures. Also, it was in the ground. You're a strange one, detective. I'm not a detective. I'm a clock man. What would that be? A, a horologist? I was just thinking about that word horology because it's a cool word. Horologist. Although it doesn't... I don't know. So it's like, ooh, hor... No, sorry, whatever. It sounds like maybe it should be chronologist, because chronos means time. Chronology. There's a game on Steam called Chronology. It's made by a, a, a Danish developer called Bedtime... Bedtime something something. Um, and I was looking it up on YouTube, and I couldn't find it by just typing chronology by itself, because of course that's such a common word, but I think I found it eventually, but I found, uh, I found out that the same developer, the Danish developer, made a game called Figment that looks really cool, so I'm gonna get, check out both of them. Figment may or may not be on P PC. It may only be on, like, PS4 or something. PS4, PS5, I don't know. We're already on the fifth PlayStation already? I guess that makes sense, because if you think of P uh, the PS1 as kind of like the N64, the PS2 is kind of like the GameCube, the PS3 is kind of like the Wii, the PS4 is kind of like the Wii U, and then the PS5 is kind of like the Switch. How's the song coming along? It's missing something. Still? I knew you'd be back. Why are you smoking a pipe? Oh, it represents my investigatory spirit. That's nice. My sister's music and our mysterious instrument supplier. That's me. Let's see, do we go down to the basement now? I think so, because we got a dog uh, bone chew toy thing kind of thing. Excuse me, I'm having a little gas, apparently. It's probably because I drank coffee earlier. I, I don't know. Um... Oh, we get another challenge from Virgin Folio. Foliot? Folio? I don't know. And it is space-themed. Space-themed challenge. Are you asking for a challenge? I was supposed to be a Stinko Man impression, but like, my throat is really messed up for whatever reason. <coughs> I should probably get water before attempting to record another eight minutes of talking, but I think I can manage all right. Um, 
Mm. Oh my god, what are all those slime things doing down there? This dude is like, I'm gonna shoot some laser things at you. And I'm like, I can avoid your laser things. And then I got hit by his arm and I was like, wait, what, his arm damages you? It's so strange. Um, I was just playing Putt-Putt Travels Through Time, and that is that is a good game. It has, uh, I think Putt-Putt is maybe for, uh, younger audiences, so the puzzles were much easier, and, uh, it had way more mini-games. Like, a lot, a lot of mini-games. Um, more mini games than Pajama Sam, which I, I like Pajama Sam because it feels like there's no filler. It feels like everything is cool or interesting. I mean, there is filler. Like, for example, all the all the uh, songs that the Beethoven bust sings in Pajama Sam 1, or like all the songs from the kitchen. Uh, or, like, all the Banana Man's jokes in, uh, Pajama Sam 3. Anyway, those are kind of, those are kind of filler-ish. Oh, we got a symbol for a drum kit. You have nowhere to run, Strike. You will answer my questions truthfully, no cheesy lies. If I perceive even the faintest attempt at deception, we'll start over. Do you understand? I guess. I doubt that, but I appreciate your cooperation. What's your name? Molly McPoke. No, it's Strike Mainstream. Mainspring. Where'd you go to school? Sadie Lou. I like that, um... Yeah, Orological. There it is. I was shipwrecked. Oh, that was wrong, but I was shipwrecked. No, I wasn't. Not really. I like that Miskatonic is in there, because it's a reference to H.P. Lovecraft. And H.P. Lovecraft might have been pretty racist, but his works are pretty cool. It was Mr. Clepsidra. Your great-grandpa. I think the correct answer is I'm not sure, yeah. I never met him. Why are you so compelled to fix the clock? Gypsy's curse. Based on your answers, you're obviously no common criminal. Your villainy is most unusual. You repair the clock and meddle in my family's affairs with no clear motive. Oh, what's that opening the door back there? Is that like a cat or a rat or a... Funny, my um, girlfriend and I went to Ithaca, New York over the weekend, and she took me to this um, beautiful diner um, that was like on the top of this hill overlooking uh, Lake Cayuga. Um, but it was kind of like, it was kind of a, a kind of like a CD diner. Like, I mean, it is our fault for sitting outdoors, but like the tables were overrun with like ants. Not overrun, but you know. But there was like a rat running around. I, I saw, I like something caught my eye, and I saw like a pink tail going over the, going over the edge. You know. Anyway, it was, it was fun. It's always nice to uh, have diner food. I don't know why. It's something, you know, all American and, and comforting about, like, diner food or whatever. So, I guess we are fixing this sort of clock thing so that we can go back to our time, which, if you remember, was from further in the future than 2010. This is really cool music. like perfect like mechanical whimsical sort of music oh I oh it stopped just as soon as there was a cool beat going hey thanks for all the help do you have enough instruments I'm still missing something like drums how are you carrying those my extra dimension I gotta go good luck with your music okay bye And now that it's kind of like end game, it's sort of like pushing us onto the right path. So now we here we are in 2020, our time. Goodness, I remember 2020. Who doesn't? It's a strange year. I've been playing through Donkey Kong Country 3 again for whatever reason. 
I mean, it's a, it's, it's a strange game, in my opinion. I don't know. It's, it's very frustrating, and not all the gimmicks are satisfying. But it just reminds me of um, 2020 whenever I play that game, because that's when I did my first, like, committed uh, 100% run of that game. But using a lot of save states, because that game is quite frustrating. I think it's the hardest DKC game. Um, you know. Anyway. This is beautiful. This is just a beautiful night. You can see the stars. You can see a full moon. The moon is huge. You can hear some crickets. You can hear some chimes. It's like PS1 startup chimes, almost. And you can see street lamps. I don't remember if the street lamps were there before. You would think... Oh, I think... I guess they were. I think mm -hmm. I've been, been over this... Uh... Oh yeah, the Kutsess Biotic Oath. They have a little, a little girl now, I guess. I wanted to make a comment about the Kutsess Biotic Oath and how funny a name it was. Oh my goodness, Melody, look at you. Are you ready for the show? Stellar, here's your instrument. And now we get sort of a heartwarming jam session credits ending. Virgin Folio on the rhythm section. And Strike on the tambourine. He's really striking that tambourine. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching this game. I think this game is an instant classic. I am really glad I could do a, a playthrough of it for you. And, um... Yeah. Cheers to, uh, 800 videos on Helium Lemon 15. Can't believe that I got here. You know? It's very interesting. It's very weird. So, um, yeah, I'm really appreciative of uh, Squidershins for making such a beautiful game. And if you watch this video, have a fantastic day. Remember to support indie developers and play good video games. That's it. Goodbye. Have a wonderful Thursday.